All right, guys, I just got back uh, from Tokyo. Literally, like, just got back, guys. It's 6 o'clock, and I've got to scarf down dinner, and then I'm going straight to the gym with the uh, Concord 11s. So, just to give you a bit of a look, a better look, uh, hopefully, maybe, might be too bright. Main thing. Woo! There they are. Concord 11s. Uh, that's it. Um, let's go to the gym. Brian Little. <laughs> Thank you.
Hey, what's good, guys? MA76 people. Okay, guys, so just got back from the gym, got out of the shower. Um, it was two hours more or less. It was freezing inside of that gym. Um, eight games. Now, the thing about those eight games, we only had 10 people. So there was um, no one to keep score. So instead of playing six minute games, we played a first team to hit 14 points. And it took a while. So those, those typical six minute games, I mean, did it really, it changed into like, whew, I don't know, eight, nine minutes. So I actually put a lot of wear and tear on these things for the first time. So uh, let's go back to the beginning. Slipping them on, like I mentioned already, like when I got to the gym, I still hadn't tried them on, right? So I wasn't expecting much. That's the first thing, guys. I wasn't expecting much. And, but I was pleasantly surprised by the time the eight games were finished. So I, I laced them up and I was like, uh, they're pretty roomy and they're kind of wide. Um, so um, wasn't the best fit. I could almost maybe double sock, maybe. But whatever, uh, it is what it is. You know, I could probably get away with a size eight, but I went with an eight and a half because I knew I was going to wear them for the most part casually. So slipping them on, tying them up. Yeah, it just felt fine. Um, you know, I knew, you know, first thing out of the box, they're going to be stiff. So, but I, as soon as I started, um, you know, shooting around stuff like that, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, all right, it's no big deal. So the first thing that really jumped out at me was um, I, I tend, you know, this happens with a lot of shoes, uh, kind of like running shoes. They had a nice, a little rocker right about here. So I don't know, maybe that's where the airbag stops or that's just kind of the design or maybe that's where the, the carbon plate, uh, maybe that's where the carbon plate stops. But I had a little bit of a rocker right there. So that was kind of cool. So, you know, for moving forward, a little bit of a spring in your step kind of thing. So that was the first thing that I noticed. Um, next, uh, no squeaking whatsoever. Mind you, uh, Saturday night court during winters, uh, that court is really slippery. It, it, sometimes it's a combination of uh, like dust and uh, the dry air. It's, it's a very uh, slippery court. So, but, uh, so yeah, there's no squeaking or anything like that. Um, uh, once the game started going, yeah, it was okay. It's a bit clunky, you know, uh, not, the transition, there's not much of a transition. Uh, I found it quite clunky, but um, it wasn't really hampering anything, but I did notice it. Um, the upper around here, yeah, not, no problem whatsoever. You know, it's kind of a, I'm not sure if it's like a corduroy or a, uh, a ballistic mesh, you know, it's a very strong mesh and um, yeah, it, it softened up right away. So no problems around the ankle collars, very comfortable, no pressure points whatsoever. So uh, in regards to this area. Now, as the games went on and on and on and on, uh, one thing that I definitely started to notice even more was the cushioning. I was uh, pleasantly surprised. Uh, I was not expecting much. I know it's a full length air sole, but um, up front, it was really comfortable. Uh, I was on the ball of my feet a lot. And uh, yeah, they were, they were really comfortable. Heel just remained kind of clunky for the entire night, but eh, so be it. So that was a pleasant surprise. I like that feeling uh, up front. Um, yeah. Um, now, probably the biggest thing that stuck out uh, to me was, like I just said, that court is often dusty and slippery. And even my friends were slipper, um, slipping uh, around tonight. And I wasn't. And I actually only had to wipe once every, like at the beginning of each game. So, yeah, I mean, this traction. Whew, I, I like to get into a clean court and see how this goes, man. It was great. It was great. Pleasantly surprised with that one. But all in all, like um, just in the bottom line, uh, you know, well, one, you know, it, it's a 90 shoe. Two, it's just straight out of the box wearing them for the first time. You know, by the end of the night, it, it's, yeah, it felt like a 90 shoe, you know, a bit kind of clunky, doesn't quite move with my foot like the some of the other shoes. Uh, granted, you know, a lot of those shoes would have fit really close to your foot. Um, I think are just in general are slightly slimmer than this type of shoe uh, at least I think in my opinion uh, also the other thing I wanted to say was people were like hey look out for your pinky toe your pinky toe is gonna get uh, rubbed and um, mine were fine they didn't have any problem and uh, believe me I mean I know it's cold in there and it kind of slows you down a bit but I was going hard for those eight games because I was trying to put the shoe through the paces and I was just trying to get some exercise 
and I didn't have any problems. I didn't have any problems with the uh, with the pinky there. So. Yeah, um, obviously, you know, traction hasn't worn down at all. Nothing like that. So there's no there's no fraying or anything like that. You know, the shoe still looks brand spanking new. So, anyways, guys, that's it for first on court. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it, and I think I might play in them again. But I'm um, kind of just shutting it down for winter. It's too cold in the holiday season here in Japan. Everything just shuts down. Everybody's on holidays. New Year's is a huge thing in Japan and in Asia. So yeah, I don't know when uh, I'll be playing basketball again. But it was pretty cool, guys. Um, would I recommend them? <laughs> I don't know. I really can't say because I am accustomed to, you know, playing with more modern shoes now. But I mean, the traction is there. The, the full length air, uh, air unit does its job. and. You know, you got the, um, the mesh up here. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine now. Uh, why not, guys? <laughs> why not? Uh, anyways, that's the uh, first on court experience. And uh, thanks for dropping by the channel. If you haven't seen uh, part one, make sure you check out part one. You can see a little bit of uh, Japan and a little bit of adventure down into Tokyo to pick these up. I'll leave the link in the uh, description, uh, description box below. Okay, guys, I'm beat. I'm tired. I'm out of here. Uh, all my best to you guys. And uh, we'll see you in the next video, okay guys? Peace.